Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Today we're gonna to take my office corner from this to this. It's gonna be quite the transformation. Let's get started. There's something about you, something about you I love. Okay friends, come into my office corner. It's pretty cool, right? There is some things that I don't like about my office or my desk right now, and we're gonna change that today. So let me turn this around and show you guys kind of what we're working with. So here's my little office corner of our bedroom. It is the place where I spend so much time every single day, most of my week right here. I've got this really cool glass desk, and you know what, it is really cool because I can see right through to the street, but it is just not functioning for me anymore. Originally I bought it, you can see that it's like two separate desks here, because it was a corner desk, and that worked great in my other home, but here it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I can sit down, right here and get to all of this space, but I really don't need this long desk right here. Plus having a glass desk, I cannot clamp anything onto it. So I've got like all this stuff on the surface of the desk itself, which I really don't like. Plus check this out. Look at this mess of cords. I've got so many tips for you today on how to manage your different cords and stuff like that. So you don't have, you know, you have easy access, but you don't have stuff everywhere like I do here. My new desk has just arrived from FlexiSpot, so let's go get it. I cannot wait to open it up. On the side, it says to team lift that one, but I used a hotel dolly to get it up to my apartment. Okay, I guess I better clean off my desk and say goodbye to the glass desk. Better things to come. We're gonna fix this, I promise. Let's go ahead and clean this because I can bet that the person who gets this desk doesn't want all of my uh, crumbs, my cookie crumbs on here. Wonderful, the area is clean and clear and it's time to unbox that new desk. Okay, so we are looking at right here the FlexiSpot EC9W. This is just one of the different models of standing desks that FlexiSpot has. Oh, and I need to say thank you so much to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. I have been wanting to try a standing desk and I am so excited to show you this one today. And I'll have the link for it down in my description box. It's really easy to get. You can get it on Amazon. So head there if you want to get this desk as well. So why am I making the switch? Well, I was kind of telling you about my glass desk, how I really did like how I could like see through it, but that was about the only thing that it really did for me. Like it was aesthetically pleasing, but it just, it didn't do the functions that I needed it to do. I am at my desk every single day for at least eight hours, sometimes more, sometimes 10, 12, and being able to stand up with my desk is a huge factor. I also do a lot of filming on my desk, and so I needed a solid desk that I could actually clamp equipment to where I can have like a camera and a light and all of that stuff like all set up, one-stop one studio, um, so I'm hoping to get that all set up today. Um, 
Also, just like having a desk that I can clamp things onto in general, I want to lift my monitor, my laptop up off the desk so that I don't have anything on the surface. It's going to make it a hundred times easier for me to wipe clean every single day and just have it look a whole lot neater. So I cannot wait to get this thing opened up. Um, I can't wait to show you the color that I got, but know that these are customizable. So if you want like a totally different top look, you can get whatever color that you want. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Supposedly, we should be able to assemble it in less than 30 minutes, which I really like because that is not my past experience with desks. It's just me here today, so hopefully we don't need a whole lot of tools. All right, let's get this thing opened up. Looks like I only need the Allen wrench that came with it, so I like that a lot. Oh, it's 110 pounds. Wait, no wait. It can hold 110 pounds. I was thinking I was really strong there for a second, but this thing is heavy duty, so it's not gonna shake. from watching my husband put stuff together that it's a good idea to like lay everything out on the bed and identify it so I did that and I scared off toaster with the box so I guess I can use the whole bed now but look I have it out of the box and now I can tell that this is just the perfect size for in here it's just a little bit shorter than my other one so it's not going to come like out as far which I think will feel better in the room but it's still big enough to do everything that I need like set up two different stations on it with like a computer station and like a filming station so now it's time to put my reading skills to the test and assemble this thing but there's not that many parts so I feel pretty confident. have legs. This was seriously so fast to do. I mean, I still have to do the motorized part, but I was testing out the, the feet to see how sturdy this is. And I mean, they are like so sturdy. And I was trying to see if I had enough space between here and the carpet, which uh, I kind of don't, but this is, this is so scary. My floor, <gasps> look at it, is not flat. I mean, even here, I, it's hard to show on camera, but it is like real wood like bumpy as anything you guys so i just don't and also we have mold ignore okay i just don't want you to think that this desk is not sturdy or flat because my floors are not okay so it might actually be a good thing that they're going to be bumped up here and on the carpet on one of the legs we'll see i'll make it work so i could be wrong but i think it might be easier if i connect all of these different things first to know how they're going <laughs> before I fasten or screw anything in. I can always unplug it and redo it. So that's what I'm gonna do. It even has these little peel and stick like zip tie things so that I can like hold the cable so it doesn't um, dangle down. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we can flip it all over and test it out. I'm so excited. Actually, these are really cool. They're better than zip ties because you can actually like undo it. So like if you needed to move things around or unplug stuff, like you can uh, take it off of this little fastener. I'm gonna try to find some of these. I think they're 3M and link them for you guys on my Amazon store because they are pretty awesome.
Yikes, that was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I am definitely not very strong. That would have been better with two people, but I also was just being so careful. I didn't want to scratch the top of it or scratch my wooden floor, so I, and, and I didn't want to put it too much pressure on like the button or anything, so that would have been better with two people, but I did it. I even thought I scratched it for a second, but it was really just something like tacky on the top. Look how slick that looks. Oh my gosh. It is slick. And you know what? It's not like I can still see my gorgeous New York City view. Hello. Um, but I have, a, I have such a better surface to work with here. I don't know if you saw me open up this window. Um, that's the parameters for how far over it can go because the window doesn't open very far, but I needed a little space. Traffic. Okay, <laughs> that's why we have double pane windows. Um, but this is great, you guys. It takes up so much less space. Like I have so much more space here. It just almost is like one window, whereas my other one went over way further. So this is spectacular. I can't even tell you. Yeah, we got the one foot on the carpet, but you know what? It might. It's like, wait, it's like super sturdy. I mean, I'm like pushing it, right? Oh, that is so great. And I'm probably gonna have to scooch it out away from the window just a little bit more once I put all my clamped stuff on there. But yeah, this is slick. Okay, let's plug it in. We gotta see it in action. This is so cool, watch. how high it could go. Clearly this is going to be a little too high probably to be working, but I mean, it's pretty awesome that it goes this high. I'm only five, five at six, so if you're a tall man, like, you might need this. That seriously could not have been easier. I'm honestly shocked. And it looks so good. All right, time for accessories. This is gonna look like a one woman studio when we're done here. It's gonna be so functional for me. I, I cannot wait. So we have all kinds of toys here. I guess I'm gonna be assembling for a minute. And then I wanna share with you my ideas for managing cables. I got this really cool thing that I think is gonna be great. It's gonna be better than having like a the strip that I had before and you know, like, different little things to hold on to cables, although I really like the ones that came with the desk. That was pretty cool. So we're gonna try all of that here and get this puppy finished up. We're back. It's the next morning. I ran out of sunlight and I was also like realizing that I did something wrong and I'm so glad I stopped and waited till morning. It's like kind of like a brain refresh because I was about to put the clips of this into the mount upside down. So this morning I was like, wait, how can I do this? Well, it's not working and I figured it out. So I need to fix that. Um, another great thing that I noticed, this desk is like shorter or, or like smaller than my other desk. Oh, it's so perfect. I have so much more space down here now. And so Toaster's bed can go right here. I usually pick it up and put it on the bed during the day. Hey buddy, are you grooming yourself like a cat? Um, anyway, but during the day, like before I couldn't fit his bed right here, we always put it in front of our like closet, which was kind of a pain. So this is wonderful. I mean, it could even stay down here all the time really and it would not be in the way, so that's such good news. All right, I think I'm gonna have to take my sweatshirt off because it's getting hot. You can see it's very sunny outside. We have to have the shades down. Good morning, New York City. It's about nine. Nine... 40. So yeah, let's get this finished up because I gotta get to work in today. Redoing this because I did not do it right at all.
Yeah, this is pretty cool. And I can't turn down the sign, but I will come back later <laughs> when it's not quite as bright to show you a little better. But this is great. I have my laptop and my monitor on here and having the mount allowed me to scoot it over a lot and now I have nothing on the surface here so I can like lay out my notebook and everything that I need. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And it's actually really easy to get my laptop in and out when I need it and I can feed all the cords along this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Proud of myself for putting this together. You're so adorable. Okay, so I said I was making a studio. So next up I have this light, which is much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And then I got this thing. I don't really know what it's called, but I'm hoping it will clip on to the light pole and allow me to put my webcam on here so that I can film right in this area. See, this is really cool. If I, like when I'm filming, what I can do is I can take my laptop and slide it like in front of my monitor, kind of out of the way, it's easier with two hands. And then I have plenty of free space to film right on top of the white desktop. So hopefully it works out like I'm imagining this would make a huge difference not to have to bring out my tripods and ring lights and everything every time I want to film something. This thing seems like it's gonna be bright, so let's see. Ah! What? What? Why can't I get it to stay on? Okay. We're gonna have to figure that out, but that's gonna work, I think. Oh yeah. Hey, yes, I think this might be just what I need. I've got to play with some things here, like the lights on. I think it like automatically adjusts. Anyway, so this is where I will like show my knitting lessons. And you can see right here that my hands show up on the screen. I can film. So got some playing to do, but now it's time to figure out some cord management. I've got a lot of different stuff to plug in and I really don't want to like see any of it. Um, and some things I need to like plug in, unplug, whatever. So I didn't even know that they make towers instead of just like a power strip, which is what I had before. So my idea is I'm gonna get my cord. I have these things to kind of attach it against the wall so my tower can be over there in the corner kind of more out of sight and I can have all the plugs run directly into it and all you'll see is one white cord. I got white on purpose as you can see we have a theme but I think that's going to be really cool. So this has uh, 12 plugs plus the top is a wireless charger I can set my phone on so there's one more cord I don't really have to keep plugged in and then I have like velcro and cord clips and these sticky little cord keeper things that I'm going to use along the side, the far side of the desk to kind of keep things contained. So I know it can sound kind of silly to put all this effort into it, but honestly, it will one, keep all the cords out of my way because I kept rolling over them and damaging them, and two, it will look better and then be easier for me to plug and unplug the things that I need. All right, had to let some sunshine in. Okay, let's test this thing. I've just plugged it in. It has a retractable cord. Hopefully it's long enough to go all the way over there. Let's see, does this really do the thing it's supposed to do? Maybe? Are you, are you on? Oh, you know what? No, maybe I should turn it on. There we go, it's doing something. Hello? Okay, now all three towers are on. I think these are actually stackable, like you could take it down. So let's see. <gasps> Ta-da! Wireless charging, cool. Great, so it totally works. It will go down the wall, across this, like I'm gonna clip it with these things, but like not yet, because I wanna make sure I get everything else plugged in first. And then it will be over here in the corner, which is like, not super noticeable and I made sure that I can open the window fully so I think that's gonna be perfect and then I can have everything just like run off this corner of the desk for example 
Here's the plug for the desk itself. I can plug it right into here. I can even maybe like, oh, sorry. Get the cord clipped down there. I can put several of those things and that's gonna be so nice. Definitely put these on the cord first. Great! Funny the things we get excited about, but seriously, this is like huge that all the cords are not here where I'm accidentally rolling over them. Like this is such a simple solution. I mean, it's a few dollars for like hundreds of these. So I'm probably gonna find more uses for these around the house. Um, yeah, I didn't realize I was putting this one on the window, but <laughs> it actually works out fine. I made sure to like, you know, the cord can kind of slide within this. So I'm, I made sure to give it some room. So waiting for the zip ties and I have one more little thing to put here on the desk. So let's go ahead and put that together. Pretty sure I've done this backwards <laughs> upside down. I wish everything was as easy as the desk. I did have it right the first time. <laughs> time to switch again. Here's a little tip for when you have like extra screws and stuff. Grab a little Ziploc baggie, fold up the manual with what this thing is clearly visible and put it in the bag with the extra screws. Then you can just have a place where you keep all of this like random stuff. And when you're looking for something, you know where to look for it. <sighs> oh yeah, this is nice. So this tray thing is not a thousand percent necessary. You don't totally need it, but I wanted, I wanted to match my desk. I think it looks so good. I really like it for like ergonomic reasons, just like having my wrists up here when I'm typing a lot during the day, you can see the angle that it creates. It creates pain for me. So some people, it doesn't bother them at all. It depends on how much you're typing and stuff. But for me, this is so much better. Actually, I probably need a chair a little higher. There we go. That's perfect. Um, and then also I can have my desk for whatever I need. If I need out my planner, if I am eating lunch or whatever I'm doing, and I can just slide this completely out of the way. Final, final step here. My zip ties are here so I can finally take care of some of the different cords. But I've been using my desk for a few days now and I love it, love it. Toaster and I wanted to give you a little desk tour, a final desk tour, if you will. I have it standing right now and it's like so gorgeous outside because the sun is setting, it's beautiful. But I've actually been standing here working and I didn't clean anything up because I thought I would show you how it is as I'm actually working here. I've got like my tea and I've got two planners out because it's about to be the next month and everything. And 
Uh, I just can't even tell you how great that this is working out. So of course, starting with the desk, we have the Flexi Spot desk. It's working out so nice. It is so sturdy. I love it. And I'm actually using the standing part, which I wasn't sure if I would use that, but it's only been a couple days and I've already used it a bunch of times. I added on a slider here because I think that's just so much more comfortable for my keyboard and everything. So my wrists aren't like this. And then of course I've got my light right here. This is a webcam. And so when I am teaching, I teach a lot of knitting lessons. I can teach my knitting lessons right here. Then I have this really cool mount that holds both my monitor and my keyboard. I can swing things like all around. I'm not gonna do that. This can actually swing in front of there, giving me a clear space to do my lessons. I just don't wanna do it now and accidentally <laughs> hit the monitor or anything. So that makes my desk space so clear. As you can see, I got all my cords cleaned up. They're all like wonderful back here. I need to cut those zip ties, oops. Um, okay, I think that's all, everything on the surface of the desk. And then of course, I got all my cords handled, handled. I'm gonna do this all around the house. This is so great right here. So I know it still looks a little crazy. Uh, I was just talking to Kent about what to do with this right here. So we'll figure something out, but it's so much better than before. I'm not gonna roll over anything at least, but I've got this like great little station down here. I've got my two uh, different like types of chargers that I need all of the time, just like right here hanging ready for me to use. I love having, I would recommend Velcro for so many things, you guys. I love having my little camera battery right here and I just, stick it right back up there after I change out the battery and let it charge. So, so nice, absolutely love it. for coming along on this adventure with me. I'm calling this my corner office now <laughs> instead of just the office corner because I feel like it's just so magnificent. I love it. Check out FlexiSpot. I'll have the link to the desk down below and let me know if you learned anything today, any tips you're going to try out or if you're inspired to make over your own space. I want to see it. Tag me on Instagram. I'm at all of this and that. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.